What's happening guys? Hope you're having an amazing day. It's an amazing day to learn something new. Today you're about to learn the proof why BSV is the original Bitcoin protocol and BTC is a SegWit fork scam. Summary. Legacy and SegWit addresses are two types of addresses in the Bitcoin network that differ in format and functionality. So they're not actually two types of addresses in the Bitcoin network. They're two types of addresses for BTC. The original Bitcoin network only needs one type of address. When Bitcoin was first created, it worked just fine the way it was. SegWit addresses offer advantages in terms of lower transaction fees and better scalability compared to legacy addresses. This is not true. This is a scam fraud statement perpetuated by the BTC community. It says SegWit addresses offer advantages in terms of lower transaction fees and better scalability. This is not true because the legacy Bitcoin protocol, the BSV, Bitcoin protocol, the peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash, uh, this is much, much, much cheaper and much, much, much faster than anything that's processed on these SegWit addresses on the BTC chain. The average BTC transaction is $25 and the average uh, BSV transaction is millions of times less than that literally millions of times less than that so they're lying they're just straight up lying to people to get them to think that this segwit fork was a good thing it was not a good thing it destroyed bitcoin it created so much confusion and hatred in the bitcoin community to diminish dr craig wright's amazing work Certain SegWit addresses, BEC32, might not be compatible with all services, so users should be cautious when sending funds to make sure that the recipient service can receive funds at a SegWit address. How complicated is that? You don't have any of this complication on the original Bitcoin protocol. You don't need to ask the person, Hey bro, uh, I see you've got a SegWit address. Are you able to receive funds at this address? Fucking stupid, man. Any, any BTC Maxis watching this, you're stupid, man. Stupid. You can't fix how stupid you are unless you just sit down and watch this and learn. So you have the legacy addresses. Legacy addresses start with the number one. For example, 1A1, blah, 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 is a legacy address. Okay, legacy. What does that mean? That means the original. That means the OG. That means the legacy protocol. That means the a first protocol. So it says legacy addresses start with the number one, which means unchanged addresses start with the number one. The original Bitcoin addresses start with the number one, period. That's just a fact. Transactions from legacy addresses tend to be larger in size, which means they take up more block space. But it doesn't matter how much block space these transactions take up because Bitcoin scales to mainstream use. Bitcoin in its original form has been stress tested and we can see by the stress test and the amount of uh, transactions that have been processed that it does actually scale to mainstream use and it just gets better and better the more people that are on the network. So it doesn't matter how much size these blocks take up. And the people who didn't understand this, or they probably did, they probably perfectly understood this and just wanted to create BTC anyway as a distraction so they could whale up the original Bitcoin protocol, use the funds to whale up the original Bitcoin protocol. So it says fees. As a result, sending transactions from legacy addresses usually incurs higher fees compared to SegWit addresses, which is false because you've created a whole new network. The SegWit is a whole new network with a whole new coin, BTC, and the fees are insane. Everybody knows that. Compatibility, they are compatible with all Bitcoin wallets and they've been around since the beginning of Bitcoin. So why are all these people saying that BSV is a fork of Bitcoin when actually BTC is a fork of Bitcoin? SegWit is a fork of Bitcoin because the original legacy addresses starting in number one, which is all the BSV addresses, these are compatible with all Bitcoin wallets, every single one. They work. It works when you send it to it. You don't need to ask the person if they can receive your funds at a SegWit address. Stupid. There are two types of SegWit addresses. So if it couldn't be any more complicated, it is. Guess what? It is. One starts with a three 
which is the P2SH format, which is more common, and the other starts with a BC1, which is the BEC32 format. For example, 3J98 is a SegWit address in the P2SH, and BC1 address is a BEC32 format. So you'll know that you're on a scam network because there's going to be three different types of addresses. You're on the SegWit chain, this new chain that was just randomly conjured up by retards in the Bitcoin community that wanted to create BTC so that they could launder money and do evil stuff. They've created three different kinds of addresses now. Not just the legacy ones, there's two extra ones to make Bitcoin more complicated. Transactions from SegWit addresses are smaller in size when the same size as legacy and effectively take up less block space due to a different calculation of weight in the block because they've separ separated the witness. Like, it's more private. It, Bitcoin wasn't meant to be a money laundering private operation that completely evades governments. Yes, you're meant to have some kind of privacy. You're meant to have some kind of anonymity like if you go to the shop and buy a thing they don't actually know your name they don't know who you are they have some level of anonymity but not total anonymity because the government still needs to operate and he and satoshi craig wright thought of all this when he was creating bitcoin in the first place but they didn't want that they didn't want the government getting involved in their finances they wanted to create btc and launder money into btc and raise loads of money in btc and have all this wealth in BTC and it can't be traced and they don't need to pay taxes on it and Craig Wright has come forward Satoshi Nakamoto has come forward and says that's not what he originally intended and all he needs to do he doesn't even need to prove that he's Satoshi Nakamoto it doesn't even matter this is what people in BSV try to explain to people it doesn't even matter if he's Satoshi or not he knows that this is the legacy protocol he knows that BSV is Bitcoin that is the unchanged Bitcoin, the original Bitcoin. It's the legacy Bitcoin. They all start with the number one. All the addresses in BSV start with the number one. This is how you know it's the legacy blockchain. It's not a new blockchain. It's not a hard fork or a soft fork or whatever they want to call it. A fork, nonetheless. SegWit is a fork, nonetheless. Period. Fact. And even when they try and explain this, that, oh, BTC is the original Bitcoin protocol, like, they can't even explain SegWit and show the addresses, and they can't make it make sense. That's how stupid people that are FOMOing into BTC are. They, they, can't, they can't even make this make sense. So they're saying transactions from SegWit addresses usually incurs lower fees compared to legacy addresses. So that's just false, because on BSV, everything is cheap. Very, very cheap. SegWit was implemented as an upgrade to the Bitcoin network to better enable scaling solutions like the Lightning Network. The Lightning Network does not work. The Lightning Network is too complicated. The Lightning Network is for off-chain transactions. These criminal psychopaths at BTC want hyper-Bitcoinization to be on the Lightning Network because then nobody can dispute their transactions. The transactions do not take place on Bitcoin. They take place on another layer with no witness on that layer. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's going to be Bitcoin transactions going through off network on layer two that isn't actually happening on Bitcoin, on the on the B, on even BTC. It's separate from BTC. It's a big mess. Lightning Network is a big, big big huge mess and the only reason all these other cryptos exist ethereum and xrp and all the other top cryptos the only reason they exist is to fix the problems that the btc network has created which bitcoin the original bitcoin bsv doesn't have any of these problems in the first place and this is all going to get proven in court dr craig wright is going to take a website similar to this and show the judge hey this is not the legacy Bitcoin blockchain. This is not what I created. BTC is not what I created. My wallet shows legacy addresses instead of SegWit addresses. Although the Bitcoin.com wallet app may show legacy addresses instead of SegWit address under transaction history, both addresses will belong to the same receiver. SegWit addresses start with the 3 or BC1. Legacy addresses start with 1. 
facts. That's all you need to know. Segwit was a fraud. It was a scam. They can't even explain it. They can't even explain the what addresses with, without showing you in plain English that BTC is not the legacy Bitcoin protocol. It should all make sense to you now why they all hate Craig. And because Craig has patents. And check out my other video. Enchain has patents for all this stuff. For a virtual currency system. Like, legally, every single crypto other than BSV is breaking his patent, his active patent for a virtual currency system worldwide. It's a worldwide patent. Granted in 2014 and 2017. Do your own research. All right, guys, I'm the Bitcoin Maxi. Bitcoin to the moon. BTC is going to zero. The real Bitcoin is going to the moon. It's going to be crazy. Make sure you're on the right side of history. This is all going to get proven in court. See you guys next time.